record again. Thank God. Galloping so he gains his uh stamina back. Come on, Gord. Gord, you are s you need to get your stamina up. You need to run on the treadmill or something. <laughs> Alright. This is them up here. Uh, calm down, Gord. Gord, it is okay. It's alright, Gord. Calm down. I don't know why you're all wild up. Alright. Alright, let's see what they're, they want. This guy, what are you looking at? He came, of course I came, said I would. There's a foreman, his name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. I'm quick. Oh, this ain't this ain't shit. I don't have a lot of my guns with me, but this is stealth mission, so I right, get in here. I guess we just lay down here. The cinematic view. We don't really want to uh, look in first person. I right, would just sneak in the wagon. We'll get the documents. I guess it's just. We're getting a reward and we're getting an update on what uh, Cornwall is doing. Man, it looks like a big storm's coming in this game right now. I'm just thinking about those one guys who wanted me to shoot the bottle off their head. They're lucky they ain't dead. Like, if I wasn't a good shot, I'm really not. There's a reason I was using Deadeye. <laughs> They'd be dead. Alright, so I just gotta sneak in, grab the grab the files to get out. Then the guy will pay me, and everything will be fine. Hey Tom, pick it up. Yep, supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay, better get a move on. Oh, they're going to Saint Denis. That ain't good. Dun dun dun. dun. Are we gonna arrive there yet? It's like the slowest ride ever. All right, I'm gonna start loading up. Right, I guess I just this is my opportunity. I guess. All right, what is it? Sneak into the factory. It got you. <clears throat> Man, the door's wide open. I thank God that guy's leaving. Shit, that guy's walking around the corner. Ooh, sneak by, sneak by. Please don't turn around. If it turns around, it'll be all bad. I the past. <clears throat> Alright, that guy's cleaning, so he won't notice us if we go slow enough. Vision relies on movement. Anyone up here? Someone's up here. 
It's all convenient that they're all facing away from me to where I gotta go. It's convenient he decided to look out the window. <laughs> this is going very well for Arthur right now. Alright, we're almost in the room. Hopefully the guy doesn't doesn't decide to look this way, he won't. Alright. Shit, of course there's someone there. You must be damn Barry. <clears throat> I never kicked the chair up like that to block the door, but does that actually work? Alright, we need your files. We wanna know what you're doing. Dan Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Yes, I'm from head office. Right now. No. Need a fire exactly. By the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. I. You, you, what? Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. Man, think! Like, he's being retarded. He's not even talking now. It's here! It's here! We didn't even hit him. We just tossed him to the ground. Good. Took you long enough. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Yep. I just got out the window. Hopefully it opens. <laughs> Luckily for us, it does. Alright, so how are we getting out of here? Oh fuck. Easy now, fellas. Now we won't tell you again. What the f You're going to stop. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's gone. Which is good, because I need his horse. Come on, girl. Miracle Tonic, I would like you right now. Oh god, they killed the horse. Get up. Come on, Gord, Gord, Gord. Let's go, 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 go. Of course, Gord's already, like, worn out. Like, dude, I just got on you. That was an epic escape. Oh, we're not, we haven't escaped yet, technically. On. Thank God I didn't hit a rock there. I wasn't really steering. Man, that was all pointless. I mean, our health core is very low. Arthur's probably really tired or something. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yeah, yep, had to beat the information out of him. So I get a reward now. I thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. 
Well, I mean, he did save our life, but he's the one who put us in that situation. Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Good. Thank you. I gave 250 bucks? Jesus. Man, Dutch was right to mess with this guy. <laughs> Alright, real quick though. I'm gored. We need to get out of here. Dutch probably wants us to go all the way back down the campy. Yes, he does. Um. Think. Where am I on the map right now? Close well, to Valentine. I got a ways to go. You know, I think the best thing to do is we're going to head towards I'm going to head towards Strawberry. I'm going to camp outside of town. I'm going to collect that debt. And then we're going to um take a stagecoach back. Now, I said before I don't like fast traveling that much. I think stagecoach probably is fast traveling. I'm not sure. If it's not, I'm probably going to end the video slash stream with me getting on the stagecoach because I, I am a little thirsty. Go get myself a drink. Relax a little bit. But I want this debt. This guy, you know, we don't like to have debts unfinished. We want to collect. Arthur is really tired too, so if he got on a stagecoach, he'd be able to relax. Luckily, near Strawberry, I'm not a wanted man nearby. Down in that region, I'm not a wanted man. In this region, I am. I haven't been in Strawberry in a long time, on top of that. It's been so long since I've been down here. I am funny. You know what? While we're at it, too. No, nah, not that. No, it's the weapon wheel. I don't know why I kept hitting that. Arthur, you need to eat something real quick. Oh, this is for the horse. Yeah, we'll have the horse eat too. Why not? But not only that. Yeah, items. And we don't have a lot of good food. But yeah, eat some baked beans. There you go. That's that's Arthur's dinner. I right, really close. I think anyway. Try I'm just trying to get out of here before bounty hunters spot me. It's funny earlier I'm like, man, I'm a wanted man. And I haven't seen any bounty hunters, man. This sucks. I really that's a good part of the game. I really want to see some bounty hunters. Then I see some and I'm like Man, I changed my mind. I don't really want to see the bounty hunters. Oh, God damn it. Calm down, horse. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank God you missed. There we go. Calm down. Gord. Uh Oh, uh, the Gord, I need you to calm down. You keep freaking out. Take it easy. Alright. Calm down, Gord. Look, I got some food for you. I'm overfeeding you today. Here, you, need, you also need clean a little bit. See, you're good. Let's go. Get out of here. They thought they could rob me. That's not how this works. I'm Arthur Morgan. Don't they know? And Gord's been kind of acting out recently. He's been getting scared very easily. You good? Well, he's, he was an asshole, so I won't rob him. I thought about it, but nah. He wasn't he wasn't dick, so he's cool. And it's very late in the night, too. It's like 4 a.m. You know what? I think we're, we're across the river now. We don't have a bounty. Let's set up camp right here. 
Here's a good spot. I hitch my horse. No, oh, well, whatever. Don't get back on the horse. All right. Set up camp. Yeah, this is a good spot for camp. At least I think so. Get some sleep so the guy even has a few more hours to get his debt together. Alright, get some sleep, Arthur. Just eight hours sleep. You need it. You really do. You had a long day. Man, I should have set up my tent. Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> Up oh, next day, you have unopened mail. You can pick it up at the post office. Oh, there's stuff for me at the post office. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, let's take down this our campsite. There you go. All right, come on, Gord. Time to go, boy. Nice to know we have a uh, mail. Can I get the mail and strawberry? I think I can. We'll do that. we we'll do that right now, actually. We're going, in, we're going inside Strawberry anyway. Yep. Get us a chance to... Why am I all the way up here? What the fuck? <laughs> I did not set up camp up the fucking mountain. Jesus. 